I'm Scott Yost, and uh, I'm, uh, I guess I'm on the, the core committee, but I'm in charge of the food, and that kind of came out of the dark, and uh, yeah, serving food, so that's what, we're going to make sure we have enough coffee this year. Um, <laughs> I go, uh, nothing else, huh? I attend the, the First Church of Christ, according to uh, Father Tom here, and uh, I don't, uh, I did not attend uh, St. Gabriel's, and I have not attended uh a good shepherd uh, Catholic community, but I've been deeply affected uh, beneficially from both. Uh, your kind people brought Christ Renews' Parish to this very room. Beautiful, beautiful experience and uh, one that has uh, changed and saved a lot of men without question. And uh, in turn, there are about four or five guys in this room that uh, took Christ Renews' Parish to Good Shepherd uh, community in uh, uh, the Colony? No, Colleyville. Colleyville, thank you. Uh, I was lost the whole time I was over there. But, uh, <laughs> never my strong suit. But the, uh, the beauty of, of that connection has just been a, an unbelievable thing in my life. And so many men here and the, uh, the attendance that Kevin and I had at uh, men's fellowship group here that uh, has just really allowed uh, iron to sharpen iron and, to, and for men to uh, be there for, for one another and just have a safe place to throw whatever your challenges are on the table uh, and I've seen some pretty drastic things thrown on the table but it, it was never too much for those people to, uh, to have somebody to listen to and, and just a huge opportunity each of us to take that kind of uh, uh, fellowship to other parishes. Uh, I think it was Roland asked me if we, uh, if we ever thought about doing a rosary here uh, on uh, together. You know, when we took Jesus to uh, Good Shepherd Catholic Community, we didn't think you were going to keep him. We need you to bring him back because our our Christ and Jesus parish is not nearly as effective as yours. We haven't missed a rosary on Saturday since, like, the, the right after the first church started. But uh, we don't get 50 there every morning, so uh, I'm pretty impressed with y'all's fervent uh, uh, success and, and spread of faith, and we'd love to continue it here.